hi guys thanks so much for coming back to my channel today i hope you guys are doing great and getting ready for thanksgiving i thought i was actually done but i'm not um well i am now but i had to go back and get like some things jason wanted some stuff like we need paper towels toilet paper and then some things for the boys like trails coming home and they'll be up out of school so they will get waffles and stuff like that and then also josiah has certain josiah they have certain um foods josiah has certain foods that he really likes so i try to get those um because he's really really finicky and um, we're trying to get him to try different things, which I think I told you guys he'll eat more in the morning more so and We try to give him something the other day and he just act like he just did not like it um, so mama was saying maybe he might have a um, Texture I forgot what she called it an issue with texture with food or the way it looks so he was eating like really really well at one point and I don't know if he just got something that he just didn't like and so now he has to look at it inspect it before he eats it so anyway let's get started with this haul I got Walmart and Aldi and so I won't have any confusion I will um skip around because i put everything together but some of it's on in another area okay so starting over here at walmart i have the meatballs and i went in there hungry too guys i haven't eaten all day it's like three what is it no it's four o'clock four o'clock um so it's a lot of snacks but i also got snacks for him for them but all of them not mine, but mine are not mine. So the Twist and Shout Vanilla Sandwich Cookies are Jason's. He actually likes the ones from Aldi the best because I asked him. Um, but Aldi didn't, they were out. So I got him the Sandwich Cream Cookies and these Twist and Shout. I guess they're supposed to be like the Oreo ones at Walmart. So yeah because he was that's the main reason well that was the motivation to go to the store because he was either gonna go himself um i got some home style meatballs some pepperoni we having homemade pizza tonight i was gonna wait to trail come home tomorrow but i'm just gonna do it tonight i did they have plenty of sage sausage so i went ahead and just picked up one anyway and then this was another thing that um jason wanted he wanted some c4 which is a pre-workout and I never had pre-workout before um maybe you know if I get in the new year really into my fitness routine maybe then I might need some but um anyway this is about it's kind of pricey which I knew it was but this was like $19 it was another one that was like $24 okay so I did go to Target with mama not too long ago and I picked this up our closest target is a small one so I don't have a lot of options and um jj really liked these when i made these the other day so i probably saved these when trail comes home and then i saw a lot of the sparkling uh welsh's and the other brand i can't think of the other brand it's that dollar tree but um i couldn't they had so many different choices i didn't know which one to get so with the brand the other brand they have not the welch's um i think the best flavor was on the bottom i couldn't get to it but anyway they have a lot of new ones or maybe i'm just now looking at them so this is the limited edition mocktail strawberry daiquiri and then i got the original sparkling red grape juice cocktail so i got this um we don't drink so i thought i'd just get that and then the chicken nuggets uh, got those for saya and then i picked these up a couple of days ago for like our salad and our caesar salad and i had these last night and put them in the air fryer i cooked them a little bit too long um but these were really really good really good i got some tea jj's been liking tea lately so i got some tea and then some orange juice um Aldi did not have any orange juice, so I end up getting it from which is best because they go through it so fast. I need to get two from Aldi. 
Sorry, it's stumping upstairs. I got some trash bags for our trash can. I like this one. You don't get a lot, but it's pine scent and it's supposed to deter rodents or whatever. And we do have like squirrels and stuff like that in the backyard. I think I seen a possum. I picked up the triple chocolate I was um, muffins. I was actually looking for the cookies because Jason's job had a pot look. I didn't have time to cook. So he took those cookies that were in that very no my last haul that i have for thanksgiving and what i did for a lot of those desserts guys i put them in the freezer so i'll probably take them out either today or tomorrow probably today because i'm gonna need some space in the freezer outside then i picked up three bags of the pizza blend they were like a dollar 88 a piece and then i got a cabbage and i wasn't going to add anything else to the menu and a bell pepper and Aldi did not have any cabbage I was like, man, they're out of everything that I was trying to get. And then I had to return the bell pepper because it was moldy and I was seeing it as I was packing my groceries up. And I really didn't want to get back in line, but it didn't take but a second. And um, they, if you're in the area, I was listening to the radio, 103.9 The Light. And they were saying, Jerry Smith was talking to somebody and he was, she was saying, that her coworker or her friend or somebody would always make cabbage. And she was wondering how she got her cabbage to taste like that. And she said the bell pepper. So um, I want to try that. She said she sliced it up real thin and cook it in with the cabbage. You can't even tell. So I, wanna, I was curious to know how it tastes. Okay. Okay, and I think this is the last of Walmart. The Great Value Blueberry Waffles. I picked up. These were actually cheaper than the regular, so I picked this up for the boys to eat. And then Josiah loves these Tennessee Pride Sausage Biscuits. So I picked up the 24-pack and um, two of the pizza sauce. These are like a dollar. And then they were out of the fresh thyme, but they had the rosemary. And actually, the turkey breast recipe that I talked about in the Thanksgiving hauls they don't call for that but I usually cook my turkey with it so I thought you know it won't hurt to throw this in the crock pot and some fresh sage these are like a dollar something I should have looked in Aldi to see if they had the um it's like a trio pack or they have all three in it so they have sage thyme and rosemary all in one pack and they have that at Aldi sometimes and then they'll have it at Walmart all the time most of the time but they didn't have it today so starting over here my Aldi haul um, I wanted to get some tall trash bags and this is the flex odor and lavender scent and they also have a fresh scent so I haven't picked up trash bags in there in so long because we need they don't carry a super big large size but we have a our old original trash can that my mother-in-law gave us in our bathroom because we just kept overflowing the bathroom trash or whatever or the room trash so anyway i picked this up it was like four fifty nine or four ninety nine i thought that was a little not a little high but they had another one with no strings it wasn't flexed and it wasn't scented and it you get 80 bags but i was like gosh that's a whole nother 40 some bags but you want that string on there and you want the lavender scent or whatever okay so i also picked up some stevia sweetener and this was 2 dollars and jason had oh jj's washing dishes guys that's all the clanking sorry that He's been drinking coffee lately, and he gave me just a sip of his today, and it gave me more energy, so um, we may start to be coffee heads or whatever. And then also, I saw this in the cooler, the freezer cooler, the meatball marinara. This is like one of their special buys that they have every now and then. This was $3.99, and the cashier, you know, I go there so much today know me by face i didn't she didn't know my name but she probably forgot and i forgot hers too and she was like hey girly and then i was like she was like you tried this before and i said no i haven't um i have not tried these before but she said um they must be good because the guy comes in here and he buys the entire case when they do have them so i did pick up two of these and then of the meatball marinara and then one of the mega meat and I think that these are getting ready to be gone for whatever time being because that's all they had left 
they only had like five left I picked up three of the mommy cozies pizzas just the regular flat pizzas the pepperoni were 149 this week it's a seven day buy and I guess tomorrow's the last day yeah because tomorrow's Tuesday I picked up some fruit snacks for on um, the board I picked up some sharp cheddar cheese some carry gold butter some moo tubes which to my phone so it may look a little different but um i also picked up wanted to try the shepherd's pie and um i saw this in kimberly's haul so i wanted to try this and normally i make mine so i was like let me see if um and that's 5.99 the fruit snacks i don't remember how much they were 4.99 the moo tubes are like a dollar 60 something the pure irish butter Kerrygold is $2.85. Sorry, y'all, for you hear the water in the background. And then the Parmesan herb chicken tenderloins. I picked those up. We really like these. These are $5.99, I believe. And then we picked up some creamer. And all they had the they had like the seasonal ones but i just wanted to get this now i don't know if they carry the regular french vanilla without it being fat free or not but i believe this was a dollar 69 but the prices do vary depending on your store as well and so i did pick up another turkey breast just in case they are 8.99 um if the other one was too small and because i wanted to make sure everybody had plenty and then this rain this really made my bill go up but i picked up the country style ribs they didn't have any the other day so i went back and got three of them when you cook them they shrink down yeah they shrink down and i'm gonna make ribs in the slow cooker and jason really loved these so that's why i picked them up they were on sale i think for three dollars and something a pound it was actually 349 a pound so two of these were like six something and one of them was five something so over here um i picked up two of the real bacon pieces and the boulder classic sparkle paper towels they are 4.99 the bacon pieces are like a dollar and 29 i believe and then these are 99 cents the minced onion and the garlic salt and then jj requested requested some ranch dressing and i was like what is wrong with buttermilk ranch i was like buttermilk means that it's better that's what i said but this was like buttermilk does not mean it's better but i was like okay so i picked up some ranch dress and i like their ranch because it's really affordable it's like 89 cents jason wanted some almonds so i picked up some of these these are 4.99 and then also my reason for going was to get some uh i think it's french vanilla or french cappuccino and they were all out so i did pick up the donut shop jason said it's okay you know if you put some creamer and sugar but he likes the cappuccino and i meant to get some at walmart and see what they have but i didn't these are 3.99 or 4.99 guys um the onion soup mix 55 cents the Swiss rolls for the boys, I think these are a dollar or 88 nine cents, and the peanut butter wafers. Josiah loves the mini peanut butter sandwich crackers, so I picked those up. They are a dollar 89 or 69. The honey uh, wheat bread right now, I only picked up one because we just got one, and we own, we're using one now. Don't go through it quite as fast and these are 99 cents right now i picked up them some mini muffins to put on this little cake stand over here these are 2.99 the blueberry they do have a slight aftertaste but i really didn't notice it until mama asked me if it did and it does a little bit the donuts um these are 149 and then three bags of the caesar salad kit these are 199 pricey but jason always asks for them uh peanut butter this is the big thing it's like 285 milk it was 228 and i was wondering if it was cheaper at walmart i don't i didn't even look and then these seven up cakes guys this is for thanksgiving we did could get into the other one uh the cashier i was talking to she was like have you tried this and i said yes i have tried this 
I saw this very same label, same everything. I don't know if it's at Village Baker though, but it's it, it has to be because it's the very same label. At Walmart today, guys, looking for those cookies. $6.92 at Walmart, the very same one. $3.99 all day at Aldi. I don't know if it's just going to be seasonal. I have to look at the tag or if it's going to be all the time. But I think a lot of people don't even know it's there because they had plenty. And she was like, oh, she was like, oh my gosh, those are so good. I said, I know. Then I picked up the can opener. I was hoping they reduced it down. They did not. I did not want to be with the struggle committee with opening up those Bruce's yams and stuff. So I went ahead and had to ask my neighbor for her can opener. So I went ahead and got it. It was $14.99. And the chopper I didn't get. I was hoping that they marked it down, but they didn't. And then the chocolate milk, and that's it. So they probably will mark that chopper down maybe Wednesday. That's what I'm thinking, because new stuff will come out, but I don't know. And that's it, guys. So that's the end of my haul. Sorry if you heard noise in the background. And I had to switch camera so if it looks a little bit different i don't know what's up with my batteries it didn't charge well on that but thanks so much for watching hope you guys have a great and happy thanksgiving be safe on black friday don't forget to like comment subscribe thank you all for always coming back and supporting on my blog or on my channel or on instagram or facebook and oh i did forget one thing show you guys it might help somebody i don't know some frames let's see if i can get this out and keep the camera up at the same time okay i picked up four of these guys oh sorry y'all i picked up four of these frames and they were only 2.92 i didn't realize how much 11 by 14 frames are so i posted a picture on instagram where the boys had a lot of different christmas pictures and it's not that i don't keep them out because they're christmas it's because i didn't have a frame and i actually had these and that sounds so terrible i had this frame before because they were cheaper but the boys have like a, some christmas pictures and i want to put them up and that sounds so terrible. I I used it for something else for my craft room. So I had to go back and get some more. But I didn't realize how much 11 by 14 pit, uh, frames cost. Oh, I didn't show the toilet paper. This is from Aldi. No, from Walmart. But um, I don't know if I did or not. But I didn't realize how much frames cost. But what I probably do is use some chalk paint and paint this and make it white and put it on the wall or whatever. So... Alright guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and see you in the next video. Bye bye.